Every family has a story to tell. Join us on a journey through time with a curious boy, a magical rocking chair, and grandma's precious memories. So, let's embark on our narrative journey. The late afternoon, sun cast long shadows across the porch, painting the dusty rocking chair in a warm, golden glow. Ten-year-old Ethan, a whirlwind of boundless energy, skidded to a halt in front of it, the screech of his sneakers momentarily silencing the chirping crickets. The chair, a gnarled sentinel guarding the porch, seemed frozen in time. Its once vibrant paint had faded to a muted blue, and the worn leather seat held the faint imprint of someone who had spent countless hours nestled within its embrace. Grandma, Ethan called, his voice echoing through the house. Why don't you ever sit a spell in this old chair anymore? A gentle smile crinkled the corners of his grandmother's eyes as she emerged from the kitchen, a plate heaped with freshly baked cookies in hand. Well, Ethan, she said, her voice as soft as the worn fabric of the chair. This chair holds a lifetime of stories, some happy, some sad. It's more than just furniture, you see. It's a trip down memory lane. Intrigued, Ethan perched on the porch railing, his eyes wide with anticipation. Stories, he echoed, his voice barely a whisper. Can you tell me one, Grandma? His grandmother chuckled, the sound like wind chimes, dancing in a summer breeze. Of course, my dear, she said, settling into the creaking embrace of the chair. But first, let's sweeten the pot with some cookies. As Ethan eagerly devoured the warm treats, his grandmother began weaving her tail. With each rocking motion of the chair, she transported him back in time. He heard stories of her childhood adventures, climbing the tallest tree in the backyard, earning a tongue, lashing for accidentally dyeing her hair green with a homemade potion and the bittersweet ache of her first heartbreak. Her voice painted vivid pictures in his mind. He saw a young girl, his grandmother as a child, her eyes sparkling with mischief as she swung from a tree branch. He felt the sting of her embarrassment as she sheepishly explained the green hair incident. And he shared in her sorrow as she recounted her first love, lost to the winds of time. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Painting the sky in hues of orange and purple, Ethan learned that the past wasn't just dusty dates in a history book. It was filled with laughter, tears, and experiences that shaped his grandmother into the wise woman she was today. Wow, Grandma, he breathed, a newfound respect for the chair and the woman in it blooming in his heart. His grandmother smiled, her eyes twinkling. See, Ethan, she said, gently squeezing his hand. Even the most ordinary things can hold extraordinary stories. All you have to do is listen. From that day on, the old rocking chair became more than just a piece of furniture. It became a portal to his grandmother's past, a bridge connecting him to her life before he was born. They spent countless afternoons on the porch, the gentle creaking of the chair, a comforting soundtrack to their shared stories. Ethan learned that the past wasn't a closed book, but a treasure chest waiting to be unearthed, filled with lessons, laughter, and the comforting knowledge that he was a part of a rich, vibrant family history. Congratulations on completing A Boy, A Rocking Chair, and Grandma's Memories. Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable. Let's revisit the key words and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number one, cast long shadows to produce a long or noticeable effect. Number two, painting, describing vividly in words. Number three, warm, golden glow, a soft, warm light that is pleasing and soothing. Number four, whirlwind, something moving very quickly and forcefully. Number five, 
boundless energy, unlimited or vast energy. Number 6. Skidded to a halt, stopped suddenly and with difficulty. Number 7. Screech, a high-pitched, piercing sound. Number 8. Momentarily silencing, briefly causing to be quiet. Number 9. Chirping, the short, sharp sounds made by small birds or insects. Number 10. Gnarled sentinel, an old, twisted guard or watcher. Number 11. Frozen in time, unchanged from a past time, as if time has stopped. Number 12. Faded, lost brightness or color over time. Number 13. Faint imprint, a slight or barely noticeable mark. Number 14. Countless hours, many hours, too many to count. Number 15. Nestled, settled or aligned comfortably within something. Number 16. Called, used here as shouted to attract attention. Number 17. Echoing, repeating a sound. Number 18. Sit a spell, sit down and relax for a while. Number 19. Crinkled the corners, caused the edges, especially of the eyes, to fold or wrinkle. Number 20. Emerged, came out into view. Number 21. Heaped, piled up. Number 22. Freshly baked, recently cooked in an oven. Number 23. Lifetime of stories, many stories collected over a long period. Number 24. Trip down memory lane, remembering past events. Number 25. Intrigued, interested and curious. Number 26. Perched, sat on something high or narrow. Number 27. Wide with anticipation, expecting something eagerly with eyes open wide. Number 28. Echoed, repeated what someone else said. Number 29. Chuckled, laughed quietly or inwardly. Number 30. Wind chimes dancing, the gentle sounds of wind chimes moving. Number 31. Settling, getting comfortable in a position. Number 32. Creaking embrace, the noise made by something old, like a chair, as it supports something. Number 33. Sweeten the pot, make something more appealing or rewarding. Number 34. Eagerly devoured, ate something quickly because of hunger or excitement. Number 35. Weaving, here, it means telling, a story, in an intricate or complex way. Number 36. Rocking motion, moving back and forth. Number 37. Transported, carried or moved to another place. Number 38. Earning a tongue lashing, receiving a severe scolding. Number 39. Dying, changing the color of something, such as hair. Number 40. Bittersweet ache, a feeling of pain mixed with pleasure or nostalgia. Number 41. Painted vivid pictures, described so clearly that the images were easy to imagine. Number 42. Sparkling with mischief, shining with a playful desire to cause trouble. Number 43. Swung, moved back and forth or from side to side. Number 44. Felt the sting, experienced a sharp pain or discomfort. Number 45. Sheepishly explained, explained something in an embarrassed or ashamed way. Number 46. Recounted, told a story or described past events. Number 47. Winds of time, the passing of time. Number 48. Dipped below the horizon, set, went down below the line where the earth meets the sky. Number 49. Hues, colors or shades. Number 50. Dusty dates, old and forgotten historical details. Number 51. Shaped, influenced or formed. Number 52. Wise woman, a woman respected for her knowledge and good judgment. Number 53. Breathed, exhaled or spoke in a whisper. Number 54. Newfound respect, a fresh, recently developed admiration. Number 55. Blooming, developing or coming into existence. Number 56. Twinkling, shining with a light that changes rapidly from bright to faint. Number 57. Extraordinary stories, unusual or remarkable tales. Number 58. Portal, a doorway, gate, or other entrance. Number 59. Bridge connecting, linking two things together. Number 60. Countless afternoons, many afternoons, too many to be counted. Number 61. Comforting soundtrack, a set of comforting background sounds. Number 62. Shared stories, told stories with others. Number 63. Treasure chest waiting to be unearthed, something valuable that is hidden and needs to be discovered. Number 64. Comforting knowledge, information that provides comfort. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button.
And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.